What's up guys welcome back to yet another video finally after a long wait now we have first build of ColorOS 12 open beta for OnePlus 8 series. Recently OnePlus started the recruitment for open beta program based on ColorOS 12 and soon they started we got the first update of the same. You guys must be aware that ColorOS is meant for Chinese region but that can be easily installed on global units too. Installation process is quite easy. I'll tell you in the later part of this video how to install ColorOS 12 open beta 1 on any of your OnePlus 8 series phone before that thank you so much guys for completing the like target of 400 likes on our previous video let's keep the same like target and we have 80 percent of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so it's a humble request do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video so here i have my oneplus 8 on which i have recently installed color os 12 open beta 1 so here you can take a look at the software information android version is android 12 color os version is also 12 if you tap on version here build number is c.10 previous update which was of close beta that had the build number of c.09 for oneplus 80 it was c.10 and here also i think it will be c.11 for oneplus 80. So now talking about the installation process, what you have to do is you need to download the ROM file which is ColorOS 12 Open Beta 1 from the description below. So here you can see this is the file of OnePlus 8 which is around 4.5 GB. I have directly installed it over Oxygen OS as you can see here this is the screenshot. That time I was running Oxygen OS 11.0.10.10 and there I just did a local update and with no issues the installation process completed successfully. If you guys are already running Close Beta update on your device then you can just download the APK given in the description below which is OnePlus system update application along with the ColorOS open beta file. Then open OnePlus system update application, tap on this gear icon towards the right top corner and you should see the file in the local update section. Soon you tap on it, you'll get a pop-up which will recommend you to take a backup and after that you have an option to install. And also if you guys are already running ColorOS closed beta update on your device, then you can also check for the update in the system update section. And guys, the update is very small, so don't expect much of changes, wherein the update size was only 9 MB. And that was the update which closed beta testers received of 9 MB. These are the benchmark results with single core device have scored 897 and with multi core device have scored 3137. With N22 benchmark application device have scored 6,82,692. As always, we get to see some good results on ColorOS. And guys, right now I won't recommend you guys to update your device to first open beta as there are issues with the Play Store. So as you can see here, I already have Play Store on my device and which also says device is not certified. That means you won't be able to use the payment services. I also ran safety net check and where you can see it says failed. That means you won't be able to use any payment services on this latest build of ColorOS Open Beta 1. Though on the previous build of ColorOS which was Close Beta 6, we had no issues related to payment services. There everything was working fine, safety net check also passed and even Google Play Store was certified. So if you are the one who uses payment applications, I won't recommend you guys to update to ColorOS Open Beta 1. Overall performance seems to be good enough, it's similar to the previous Close Beta. Till now no issues like lags or jitters to be found while using the device everything seems to be working fine as of now but you guys let me know whether you want a complete review on this or not another issue which i noticed after installing color os open beta 1 is that whenever i launch any game gaming dashboard doesn't pop up so for example let's open up bgmi and here you can see we don't have any option to launch the gaming dashboard this wasn't the case on the previous update which was closed beta 6. I tried multiple ways to enable it but wasn't able to do that. So if you guys have already installed ColorOS Open Beta 1 then do let me know in the comment section below whether you guys are able to launch the gaming dashboard while gaming or not. So here we have the entire list of what all changes have been done in the ColorOS 12. And as said till now most of you guys must be aware about all the features of ColorOS 12 so there's no use covering them again. We still get to hear that hardware sound while opening up the camera application. And also guys, camera there are no changes done over the previous update which was Close Beta 6. I have already shared the camera samples in the previous video of Close Beta 6. We have the similar camera app version on both these builds. And another change what you guys gonna notice after installing Open Beta 1 on your OnePlus 8 series. Now instead of warp charging, we get to see this VOOC charging while charging the device. Though charging animation seems to be similar. You guys won't see Bitmoji feature on ColorOS Open Beta 1. Overall performance wise, build seems to be stable enough. But as said, one issue which you guys might face is layer to the payment application. So device doesn't pass the safety net check and also Play Store is not certified. We had seen the same issue on previous builds of Close Beta. 
but with the final build which was closed beta 6 everything was working fine play store was certified even device passes the safety net check so there we did not had any kind of issues using the payment services so guys there's nothing much to showcase in this video this was just a quick look on the first open beta based on color os 12 for oneplus 8 series as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys like the video if you like the video then do give me a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day